the more we say, look, I can do it all by myself, is actually the less mature in the Lord we are. We praise children whenever they learn new things. Look, mommy, I can tie my shoe all by myself. Their self-sufficiency as a child is a way that we track progress. You become more mature as adult the more you can do things for yourself. But the thing is, when it comes to godliness in the kingdom, it is really the opposite. The more we say, look, I can do it all by myself, is actually the less mature in the Lord we are. The more we can say, look, God, I cannot do this without you. I am so weak. I am so inadequate. I am so unworthy of this. Help me. I need you. That is the mark of maturity. But it's hard to get there. Such is the confidence that we have through Christ towards God. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves or claim anything is coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God. Here in America, part of our culture is never say try. It's always you can do it. You will do it. It's not try. It's not maybe. It's I will and I can. And just the thought of somebody admitting that they're weak and probably incapable of accomplishing something is like a big no-no in America. But it is so contrary to who God wants us to be. What does the scripture say? It says that our confidence is actually in the fact that we can't do it and we need God to help us. When do you ever hear somebody say that's where confidence is from? If we waited to do anything for the Lord, to evangelize, to forgive someone, to reconcile relationships, to start our business, to work hard, to have a child, to adopt a child, to take care of a family member, to reach out to a neighbor. If we waited until we were perfectly, perfectly adequate and perfectly able and perfectly strong, we would do nothing. Or we would do it trudging in the dirt in our pride, trying, thinking that we're capable on our own. We have to lean on the Lord if we want to live a life that is full of pursuing godliness and serving the Lord. So Paul wrote this reflecting on the fact that he was insufficient and being okay with that. Do you need to right now be okay with being weak? Especially like I said in this American culture, we are so not okay with being weak. Um, but that humility is the foundation for the Lord really doing mighty things through you because that's just it. He wants to do it. He wants to shine and he wants the glory. So recognize that you're weak. Where are you weak? Write it down and thank God that he is strong in your weakness. So how should we act whenever we fear failure in a task that God has given us? Admit the truth. Apart from God, you can't do this. Pray and ask God for the strength the grace and the wisdom that you need tell him you're afraid he already knows your heart vocalize it to him and ask him for his help trust God's promise trust God is who he says that he is read the Old Testament read the New Testament see all the times he was stronger than even the strongest man he was smarter than the smartest man he was the wisest he's faithful he's loving he's kind he's full of justice and wisdom Look at the stories that prove he is faithful and he is sufficient and strong and believe them. Act in obedience. Step out and do what you know you're supposed to do. Do what the Holy Spirit has put on your heart. What he's calling you to do to be faithful and to serve him and to build the kingdom. Just start and trust that the Lord's got your back. Like don't wait for everything to be perfect to be obedient. Simply just thank God for his help. Look for ways that God is faithful like actually this happened to me today so a couple days ago i was like in like crying like snot nose prayer just like lord take this pride from me sometimes it's really hard for me to ask for forgiveness and then three days has gone by i have asked for forgiveness multiple times in those days and it wasn't really like a struggle for me um and i stopped and i just felt the holy spirit remind me like You asked me for help and I've helped you. You're only doing so well because you're relying on me, the spirit, and you're working. Obviously, God isn't saying this to me, but it's like being reminded in my heart that, oh yeah, I'm only doing so well because I asked for help and the Holy Spirit's helping me. And a lot of times we forget to remember that you're only doing well because God is helping you do well because he's being your strength. 
So just remember it and thank him for it. All right, I love you guys. Please do not be afraid to be weak. It's okay to be weak. God is sufficient. He will help you when you ask him and you rely on him. I love you. See you tomorrow for day nine and...